<laughs> it's called busy time again, guys. Um, I went down there uh, yesterday uh, to the markets. I've been the last couple of weeks, but there's not really been anything, anything to have. Found a few. I like to buy um, old PC games on CD stuff from you know, from retro gaming. Yeah, I got a few of them, but stuff to repair now. <laughs> anyway, this uh, this time a bit of a success, to be honest. Um, so, what's in the box? Well, before we open the box, I'll show you what else I've got that's too big fit in the box. Um, so, <coughs> got this, uh, this off a guy. Uh, same guy I bought the uh, GTX 280 from and those uh, 8800 GT, sorry, 8800 GTs. And, uh, as you watch the channel, you'll probably know that the uh, the GTX 280 we fixed. Um, the 8800 GT, one of them we've trashed, but it's a doer. And the other one, well, <laughs> the jury's out on that one. Um, whether or not we can we can uh, refo the GPU on that one. Uh, anyway, um, I'll come back to them. But this guy, he, he got this. Uh, and uh, he wanted uh, he wanted fifty euros for this. I said no way. Uh, he actually had a <coughs> he got a screwdriver. Normally, I normally I take a screwdriver with me down to the car boot in case I see any computers that want to have a look inside, see what they are. Um, and I didn't take one this week. I, I think I, it should have been in the van. I took it up the van at some point. So. Uh, at least this one, if he got a screwdriver, so um, I had a quick look inside it, and it's grubby, uh, and it's a uh, Gigabyte GA H55M S2V. I like, I like these. <laughs> I do like those. SATA cables like flexi ones. Um, no hard drive in it, uh, it's got a couple of sticks of uh, DDR3 in it. Um, anyway, this one, I um, figured if that's a H55 chipset, this is an early uh, early revision um, i3. It says i3, it says i3 on the front, so I'm assuming that's what's in here. And that's going to be like, I think that's the first generation, you know. Uh, on that chipset, um, let's, let's uh, no, I will get a bit where you can see on, on online, but I, th I think that's what that is. Um, so we'll uh, we'll make a note of what that motherboard actually is. Um, fine, so I'll just scribble this. So it's a GAH55M uh, S2V. Because it's an i3, and I know it's an early revision one, but it's a gigabyte board, and I quite like these. Uh, he wanted 50, and I said, no way. I wanted to give him 10, you know, and it, he wasn't having any of that. And then I said, look, I'll give you 15. But in the end, we settled at 20 euros, which I suppose in English is about 17 or 18 pounds. I'm not sure the dollar's 25 or something, uh, depending on where you are. So anyway, I got that. Um, Quite often this guy's stuff is actually working. I don't know. Uh, so we'll look what else is in, in the box. And then uh, while we're still on, the, on this uh, camera so we can see the screen, we're going to plug this in and see what it does, yeah? So that's that one. Another guy. Never never bought off this guy before. He, he got this. Again, another tower. Doesn't say what it is. Um, and he hadn't got a screwdriver, so I said to this guy, I'll go to him and find a screwdriver, I'll probably buy one off somebody for a year, down there, you know, uh, always worth having a spare screwdriver. Uh, and he said, he said, 10, ten euros, and that, DS, DS error. And I, I said, well, let, let me find Doneo, yeah, I don't my Spanish a bit. <laughs> but you understand, he said, he said, ah, he said, he said, Cinco, Cinco, nah, Cinco, Cinco. Five euros. I thought, you know what, for five euros, I don't really care what's in this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to have it, you know, five euros. 
I, I was kind of like peering down this, this little slot in here. I can see there's, a, I can see that there's a, a process of fan on there, so I'm suspecting there is a processor. Wouldn't be the first time you have to watch that. Wouldn't be the first time I've bought something that said it was an i5 or i7 or. I've, Google the motherboard, and I know, I know that's what it is. And now we can actually see the processor fan. I think, hey, oh, that should be worth 20 whatever he wants for the, for the processor. And you take the fan off and find there's no processor underneath it. So you have to be a little bit uh, wary. Probably the same for any free market, but certainly this one. That there's one or two, you have to be a little bit careful. Um, I've also seen boxed uh, GPUs that don't have the GPU that the box has. I always check that one. PC games with the wrong disc in or no disc in. I've been called out very occasionally, but not, not very often with that one. So, I don't actually, I didn't know you've moved it. What have we got here? ASRock motherboard, uh, G31M. G31M. Yes. And I gave the guy five euros for this one, it was 20 for the other one. Uh, Two sticks of RAM in it again, no. Oh, ah, this one has a hard drive. SATA hard drive. Um, DVD, the other one had a DVD as well, yeah. Um, so, okay, uh, we made a note of that. Um, we'll plug this one in and we'll just see what it does. I think. Deep cool. I think that's a. Uh, well, that's a 775, it's DDR2, so I think that's a 775, LJ775, dual cut, like a 4-2 duo or, or something like that. So then two, just going to plug in in a couple of minutes and see what we do, yeah? Um, then, we're 25 euros up now. Got this off a guy. Um, it was just lying in the box, it's a light on, it's, it's, it's a laptop power supply. And you got the cable with it. And to be quite honest, he, he wanted two euros and I wanted to give him one euro. And then, uh, no, I think he wanted three or five. And in the end, he settled at two. Yeah, he settled at two. And I stuck my hand in my pocket and all I got in change was, was one euro fifty. I said, ah. Oh. And he said, yeah, ballet, ballet, benga, take it. <laughs> benga. Okay, I go. Okay, take it. So I give him the one euro fifty. Uh, Useful things uh, these, I can clean all this shit off it. Uh, quite often you get somebody coming in here who wants a laptop power supply and I haven't always got them in stock. Um, what I often do is I'll take the end off their broken one and fit it onto the, this one. So I'm using their end with, with, with another one. So we'll plug that in a minute and see what that does as well, yeah. Then I found this. Okay. Um, I saw it, I just picked it up, and straight away on this it says 3DFX. And I know 3DFX graphics cards are quite sought after on the, the retro uh, gaming scene. Yeah. Uh, and it says uh, Voodoo V, which you think in Roman numerals that means Voodoo 5, but it can't be a Voodoo 5 because a Voodoo 5 is a big card with two GPUs and two fans on, and this only has one. Uh, it looks okay, there's anything burnt out on it. Notice a couple of wires from the cooling fan have broken off. That's a bad sign. If it's been plugged in and the fan stopped working, it's overheated and failed. A uh, guy I got this from, uh, bought quite a bit from him in the past. Uh, mostly it miss, but generally speaking, a lot of this stuff works. And if you find old stuff like this, they sell it because it's junk. You know, it's not faulty. You know, you find yourself like a, a, you know, a GTX 1080 Ti out there. You can pretty much assume that's 40. Why does it end up in a car boot sale? But something like this. Uh, I've had a few valuable um, GPUs at this fair. And I'm hoping that this is going to be one. But Voodoo V? Hmm. We'll look that one up. So that, that was uh, 150 for the PSU. And it was... Uh, Three euros I gave him for that in the end. He, he, he wanted, uh, was it even two? Yeah, I got him down to two. I did, I paid him two euros for that. Um, I had to give him the three, but you know, it's just being cheeky. <laughs> so two is that. So I have 25, 26, 20, 28.50 uh, I spent on Sunday. 
Um, hopefully, get some money back, maybe, yeah. Uh, anyway, so this morning, these turned up. This is not car, but these turned up. These are off eBay. I got my hands on some uh, socket AM4 Ryzen motherboards 40 because uh, it seems to be these Ryzen's are quite popular uh, these days and I've got these two which are about uh, MSI X570 and the Gigabyte X570 so the same chipset so although different manufacturers the chipsets are the same I thought well if we get hands on both of these then there's a good chance I might get something working here and then I got another one it's an X470 so it's a different chipset all these came from the same place so I'm it might be a computer shop I'm not sure they all came like this uh, from the same place some of them have got the manuals and bits some haven't uh, and they all just they just said they didn't work they were dead and I think they said they didn't power up that, that's all it was, they were very vague about what the problem is but there were spares all repair no return but yeah and I paid I paid a fair bit of money for these you know um, I mean, in total, I think it was 45 and 40, 85 and 30. 115 euros for this little handful. So I'm going to have a bit of a limb here to see uh, what I can do. But I think if I can fix one, I'll make my money back. Maybe make a bit as well, depending on what you have. If I fix one, I reckon I'll make my money back. Uh, the other two, anything else I can fix will be a big bonus. I'll definitely be in profit. So that's what's in the car booty box today. And a bit of eBay beauty. I know we've got a couple of things from last time, guys. I know we've got a gaming, gaming laptop, uh, gaming keyboard to still going to look at, and we've got a uh, part of it. <laughs> I think it was a, a, a GTX 770 without the heat sink and stuff, uh, with some blown components. So we got that as well. Uh, so okay, booty box empty. While we've got this uh, camera. It's going to be easier with these PCs because you can actually see what's happening if I show you the screen. So. Let's have a look at the uh, first one of these. This is the uh, the Asrock, which I think is the 775. Uh, let's turn around so you can actually see me screen up around the wall as well. Yeah. You can't see me now. <laughs> I'll stay there. Uh, power lead. I'd, temp I'd be tempted with things like this. To pair them up with, with, with the light bulb thing attached, yeah. Uh, they'll come up into behind me at least switch it on to standby. If it doesn't go bang, I'll switch it to direct mains and try and power it up. So, there we are. we've got uh, got that. Uh, we need a uh, VGA, obviously. Got a VGA in there. Not too bothered about keyboard. No, go on, let's get a keyboard. Have a keyboard. Hold that in. Now let's see. Let's see. This is the one the hard drive in. So let's see what this one does. Um, this is my. Oh, you can't see my screen. I mentioned that before, didn't we? So you can now see the screen up here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll switch it on. I don't. Oh, you didn't see it. Light bulb. That flicking. Yeah. That means it's fine. It's just with a little bit of power. It was actually trying to power up. Fans are going. I didn't mind just saying it's got a signal. VJ. That's what she does. No signal. Well, that one powers up but doesn't give a, a signal. So, um, it also came sort of straight on immediately. Yeah, holding the button and does does power it off again. Just power it back up again. No bleeps. Okay, so we'll look at that one. What I normally do with this is take the motherboard out, get it on the bench with the known good power supply and see what it does, yeah? So that one we need to have a, a loop. Uh, to see why that isn't actually booting up. Mm. 
and see if it's actually worth anything. About five euros. There's got to be a profit in that for sure. Five euros. This is the little one. The, the guy actually, the guy got this off, actually said, told me it's working. He swore this is working, yeah? Light bulb. Yeah, flicked on and went off. Didn't go bang. Good. Uh, power it up. Oh. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Me. It works, he says. It works. That's functional. Functional. It comes on and makes a noise. Okay, that one needs looking at. Okay, I think that's all we can uh, look at on the mobile phone easily. So I think everything else will move on to the desk cam eh? and uh, let's look up these motherboards. So let's look up what this thing called the Voodoo V. See what that is. Okay, guys. See you in the moment.